another episode of Water Safety Watch and Learn. Today we'll be learning all about floods and how these disasters can cause many issues like pollution in our local waterways. We've been investigating a flood that occurred in Melbourne not too long ago. Now that the flood waters have subsided, let's check it out. We are here in inner city Melbourne, on the banks of the Yarra River. You may have heard about the recent extreme rainfall that caused chaos around the city. Would you believe that at its highest point, the water levels were this high? Do you know what we call these extreme weather conditions? That's right, they are known as floods. Floods occur when we have consistent rainfall over a period of time, or a high amount of rain over a short period of time, and they are called flash floods. Floodwaters are very dangerous because of the extreme force behind the body of water as it moves downhill, finding the lowest point as quickly as possible, destroying anything in its path. 15 centimetres of fast moving flood water can knock over an adult. Most vehicles can be swept away by less than 50 centimetres of running water and it only takes another 10 centimetres to do the same to pickup trucks and SUVs. Did you know that when the city of Melbourne was built, they did not create systems that carried excess flood water out of the city when the drains were full? This is why we see a lot of flush flooding across the city of Melbourne, when excess flood water flows through the busy streets and across properties. Let's go and visit another location now that became very dangerous during the recent flood. Behind me, you can see a stormwater drain. Do you know what these stormwater drains are? Stormwater is any water that is collected from roofs, driveways, roads and pathways during rainfall. This stormwater travels through the drains and canals where it eventually ends up in our natural waterways and it does not get filtered in the process. You may have spotted a stormwater drain along the edge of a road or along a canal near where you live. Following intense rainfall, these drain systems are unable to cope with the amount of water flowing through and therefore, the water spills out onto the streets and flush flooding occurs. That's why we always stay away from these stormwater drains and canals, especially during even the slightest amount of rain. just create a danger for people. Do you know where this stormwater drain and canal leads to? This one leads straight into the Yarra River. Remember, this stormwater is not filtered, so stormwater runoff creates a major threat to our aquatic ecosystems. 
Have you ever thought about the different items or chemicals that could be swept off our streets, into stormwater drains, and then into our natural river system? Did you know stormwater pollution is the biggest threat to our urban rivers and creeks? Each year about 500 billion litres of water containing litter and other harmful pollutants such as heavy metals, oil, organic matter and excess nutrients enters our rivers, creeks and bays via stormwater drains. Melbourne has a big history of flooding. One significant event occurred in November in 2010 when major flash flooding caused extreme property damage across the city. Another happened in 2005 when Melbourne's rivers flooded and caused major disruptions across our transport systems. Other states around Australia also experienced major flooding events. Brisbane experienced a severe flood from late 2010 to early 2011, during which water levels peaked at over four metres in the city. All paths and parks next to the Brisbane River were completely submerged, meaning they were covered with flood water. Make sure to always check the Bureau of Meteorology and the Vic Emergency apps to stay informed about flood watches, flood warnings and severe weather warnings. So everyone, it's time for you to have a go at your own activity. Make sure you remember all the water safety messages from today's episode and we'll see you next time.